What is up guys, Jeremy here, back to you with another tweak for you guys to check out. This tweak is called Night Mode, and basically, it puts all of your UI on your device into Night Mode, which looks pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and jump in the settings, and you guys can immediately tell <laughs> that it is in Night Mode, and I think this tweak is pretty damn awesome. So, we can go ahead and we can scroll down uh, to the Night Mode settings right here. As you guys can see, now there's a lot of settings with Night Mode. It allows you to basically adjust every individual application to however you want so I'm not gonna be able to you know demonstrate everything it can do because I also want you guys to check out some of the applications with night mode running uh, but I'll do a quick run through of the settings here for night mode so first off you have the on off switch for the tweak you have the chat kit springboard you can ena enable or disable that and you have uh, also some sections here global settings and per application settings I'll get into those in a minute uh, now See, the cool thing about night mode is you can have it set up with an activation method so that it will be activated at nighttime. That way you can use it, you know, your device in regular mode during the day and then have it switch to night mode at night when it's dark out. Because I think using night mode during the day, you know, out and about, like, you know, if it's a sunny day, it'll probably be pretty hard to see, you know, uh, with the sun glaring on it, whatever. Being in night mode, is, it'll probably be pretty hard on your eyes. I would think that, you know, it being in regular mode would be easier, but it's totally up to you however you want to use this. Like I said, you can disable this tweak in uh, specific applications, uh, however you want to set it up. But uh, you also do have a kill applications toggle here. In order for the night mode to change, you know, take effect in an application, the application has to be killed. Uh, so this will allow you so that when your activation method switches it over to night mode, it will also kill all of the applications multitasking so that way when you reopen them they are in night mode. You don't have to kill them manually, which is a really cool uh, feature of the tweak as well. So. Let's get into global settings here. There's a lot of stuff in here uh, allowing you to customize this tweak quite a bit. So first off, you have the dark keyboard. You can ena enable that or disable it, and that'll be system-wide. Uh, you can also replace the splash screens. Use a custom splash screen. You can select your splash screen, which will basically open up your photo album, as you guys can see right here, which will allow you to uh, choose whatever you want with that. You also do have appearance settings. Now, I like this. You can actually change the table highlight color. As you guys can see, I have mine set on blue. Uh, you can change that to a dark blue, a gray, or make your own custom color within this section right here, which is basically some RGB sliders, which will allow you to customize that color yourself. Uh, you also do have the tint color, so you can change the tint uh, to you know blue, random, random hue, or even custom. And like I said, you can use the custom RGB slider below that to adjust that to however you want. Now if we go down here, you also can change the blur appearance of night mode you have it uh, an on off uh, switch for that right there and you can change the opacity with this slider right here uh, and then there's some text below this explaining kind of what the different sections do uh, so now here we go into the per application settings this is where you can basically adjust night mode for every application individually this is gonna be something for you guys to play around with to get your applications the way you want them to look uh, you know everybody has different apps on their devices like I said this is just something for you to uh, mess around with to get uh, applications you know to work specifically the way you want them to and with some of the applications night mode just doesn't look good I've kind of messed around with a couple of them and you just can't get them the way you know they just don't look right and uh, what's cool is you can basically just disable night mode for that application specifically which I really do like about this tweak that's really cool uh, so let's just go ahead and select a random application I'll show you the different uh, settings within per application you can change uh, you have no cell images force darker status bar but as you can see toggle night mode is uh, is core settings so this is the core settings also you do have experimental settings uh, you can colorize the UI views you have extra cell colorization you can remove background images and then you have automatic color replace now like I said this is stuff I'll let you guys toy around with to you know mess around with the different applications they all kind of have different effect depending on the application all apps are different unfortunately so uh, it is a little bit confusing to use these so we can go ahead and we can exit the settings I want you guys to check out what some of the applications look like running in night mode and I think first off uh, messages looks really really cool so here is messages in night mode as you guys can see I think it looks really really awesome uh, running in night mode very very easy on the eyes this looks really good at nighttime uh, so we can go ahead and exit out of messages. We can go ahead and jump into the calendar here really quickly. I think the calendar looks really good as well. So here's the calendar. We can go to the month view uh, or the day view. And then we can go into the actual day view. And as you can see, this is what calendars looks like running in night mode. Uh, we can also go into the clock application. 
So here's the clock in night mode. Very, very nice looking in my opinion. I think it looks really, really good. We can also go into notes. Notes is very simple. So here's notes in night mode. I think you guys get the idea here. Pretty simple. Very nice looking in my opinion. Now let's go into an application in which I think night mode should be disabled because I don't think it looks good. Uh, one is Spotify. I just don't think it looks good in Spotify. Spotify natively has a dark UI anyways, so this is something I would disable it in uh, just because, like I said, I don't think it looks very good. Just my opinion. So this is an application I would disable night mode in. We go ahead and jump into the phone. Phone looks really good. I'm not going to go through my uh, recents or contacts so you guys don't get any of my friends' credentials. Go ahead and jump out of the phone there. We can jump into music. So there we go. There it changed. So this is what uh, the music application looks looks like in night mode. I'm not sure why I have all these random <laughs> songs in here. I think it has to do with when I synced it up on my iTunes the other day. Um, let's see. What else can we take a look at? Let's take a look at uh, Twitter. So here's uh, or uh, Tweetbot rather. So this is what Tweetbot looks like. It's a little off. Maybe I could adjust some of the settings to make it look a little better, but still not too bad. It is in you know it's true kind of night mode. It's kind of weird that the status bar is kind of clear. Let's go ahead and jump over to mine. Pretty nice looking. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and check out Instagram here. Instagram. Uh, Instagram, I think I would probably disable night mode for it. I don't really like the way that the uh, the like and comment boxes are gray and it just doesn't really match. It's not too bad. It still looks pretty nice being in night mode. Let's see what my profile looks like. That's oh, not too bad. It looks pretty good, actually. It's not bad at all, actually. So that's what Instagram looks like. I think you guys get the idea. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Again, the tweak is called night mode. We can go ahead and jump into Cydia, and I'm going to show you guys where to get it. So now once you guys are in Cydia, all you have to do is go ahead and search for night mode, as you guys can see how to spell it at the top. I'll also leave the package information down in the description. Uh, this tweak is 99 cents, so it is a paid tweak. It is from the Big Boss repo, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty awesome tweak. If you guys enjoyed this video of night mode, uh, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I do tweet out my wallpapers. A lot of you guys ask about those. Uh, but anyways, this has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.